Here we go. Now, it's our job to prep them for whatever funeral arrangements have been made upstairs, which can take a while, depending on the level of decomp. Now, we've got breathing masks for the rotters. Oh, and this poor devil was only found this morning. So he's fresh, which is fortunate for you. Not squeamish, are you? <laughs> no. Nails. Hard as. What about the other guy? Sorry? The other guy. They said they were sending two of you. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Well, I wouldn't want him to miss out on all the fun. Apparently, he was found at 8 a.m. Cause of death? Unknown? Oh, it does seem peaceful. No foul play. He shouldn't be too messy. Okay. Kill num your horinga, kill num your horinga, kill. Hello, this is not Marv's answer machine. This is the real Marv because I'm not one of those people whose answering machine tricks you into thinking they've answered the phone because I, I hate that. Hello, this is the mortuary. You sent us two temps this morning. Oh yeah, Dean and Jack. How are they getting on? <laughs> well, there's no easy way to say this. Um, one of them's unconscious, and the other one's dead. God, which one's? Dead. Bullshit. You don't fool me. Jack? <laughs> I knew it. What are you doing here? Working. What are you doing here? I'm having a day off. I'm having a bit of me time. People go to spas, not morgues. I'm pulling a daddy. A what? A daddy. That's not a thing. I'm making it a thing. Too many people pretend to be sick. It's predictable. Nobody expects a fake death. <laughs> what time did you get here? About half eight. Right. So you faked your death to get out of a job and ended up early for work. Shit. No, it's all... <laughs> <sighs> Marv? What's wrong? One of the boys passed away. Which one? Right, come on. This isn't funny anymore. Get up. Let's be having you. Uh, I think I'll stick with it. I get a little lie down. I feel quite serene. Learned that word today, did you? Yeah. Someone said it about me. It felt nice. It's almost like dying makes you a better person. What are we gonna? What are you gonna say when people find out you're not really dead? To be honest, Jack, I didn't think I'd make it this far. We'll blame it on the doctor. Say he diagnosed it wrong. It's happened. Yeah, in the year 1882. Where are we now? A little further along. Had some good times here. <laughs> Of course. Hey. I appreciate you coming in like this. I realise how difficult it is. I would have asked the other guy, but like I said, he is unconscious. <sighs> it's not him. No, miss. Like I said, it's this way. You don't have to identify all the dead bodies. OK, good, good, because I don't know any of these. Dean, give it up. They're going to be back any second now, and when they... Are you naked? Completely. They took my clothes off and I just let them. Um, it's just, it's hard to let go. You've gone too far. Okay, now he's gone too far. <laughs> I had to rent this suit. You are paying me back. Did you see that? They are distraught. What's that? Just keeping a tally, checking what everyone's feeling. So far, I've got four floods of tears, three sniffles, and one confession of unrequited love, which I've always suspected. Well, I'm sorry, my darling, but that ship 
has sailed. The ship hasn't sailed, there's no ship, you're still alive, you're not dead. Simply thinking about that, what if I actually am dead? What if I've been dead this whole time? And you've just gone mad with grief? No, that's not a thing. This is you. Please get out the coffin. We'll wait till my mum gets here. That's the big one. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. I haven't seen it yet. Excuse me? Do you want to wrap it up anytime soon? I mean, we've all got morning to do. Yeah, jog on. Excuse me. Sorry. What are you talking about? The bank. I read the file. I know what you did. They sacked Dean and you walked out in protest. That's true friendship. They fired him. And I know you're going to miss him. But it was just his time. It wasn't. You can't blame yourself. I don't. It's not you, it's me. It doesn't apply. Would it be weird if I took the urn and scattered the ashes in Europe? What? I could just put some in a little bag on my travels. He always wanted to see the world, probably. They're gonna cremate him. I need a word. Is my mum here? Oi! There's a bloody queue here! This has to stop now. They're gonna cremate you. This stops when my mum gets here. But he's had two goals! I don't think she's coming, mate. She's always late to stuff. She'll be here. Seriously? She'll be here. She won't miss this. Dean? Jack, I'm not getting out of this coffin until my mum gets here. The service is about to begin if you'd like to take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, the service is about to begin if you'd like to take your seats. Great. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Nice one. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our final respects to Dean Dobbs. Dean was a young man in the prime of his life. But when God is in his garden, he picks only the most vibrant blooms. We offer our sincere condolences to Dean's parents, his whole family, and of course, his best friend, Jack who will miss Dean dreadfully. Can we talk? Do you know? It was your son's funeral this morning. They found him a few days ago. Do you know? Do you care? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, I know. And you didn't show up? Did you have something on? <laughs> Jack. Something better? He would have wanted you there. Where were you? Yeah. Was there something wrong? He didn't tell me. Did you guys fall out? Actually, I don't want to know, because there's going to be no excuse that's good enough for not showing up to your own son's fucking funeral. Oi! Don't talk to my mum like that. 
Okay, um, either I'm a ghost, or I faked my death for a second time, and you fell for it. Which one is it? I mean, I mean to be fair, I didn't mean to. I just left. What, you think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> Our team's not the first person to fake his death to get out of a job. Not in this family. <laughs> when your granddad died, it took us weeks to believe it. Yeah, nobody went to the funeral. <laughs> and that is what you'll get if you keep playing these games. An empty church. Fair. But if you two were there, wouldn't it be the worst? Oh. <laughs> Jack? Jack? <laughs>